In Psalm 8, David prayed, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name over all the earth. Back in Exodus, Moses had asked the Lord, please show me your glory. How does the Lord respond? How does the Lord choose to reveal his glory? Well, he declares his name, his reputation, and then he declares his character. He says, I'm compassionate. The word God uses leads with his compassion, rahum, which is related to the word for womb. He says, I'm compassionate like a tender mom, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love, abounding in truth, showing a covenant love to a thousand generations. That's my glory. And the creator who is amazing and perfect, holy and pure continues to describe what makes him so glorious in light of his perfection. You know, we're a mess. We're crooked, rebellious, and wandering. And he gloriously doesn't aim to crush us. Instead, he says, look, I'm the one who forgives your crookedness and your rebellion and your wandering. And yet he's a God who still brings justice. Say, show me your glory. Show me your character. So in Psalm 8, David's probably out in the fields. He's looking up at the night sky. He's seeing the vastness of the universe and still really has no idea how just vast it is. I mean, we really don't either. And he says, oh Lord, oh Lord, how majestic is your name, the fullness of who you are over all the earth. You've set your splendor upon the heavens. We catch a glimpse of the majesty of our God as we gaze upon creation, as we ponder the vastness of the universe, which he spoke into existence. He's infinitely large and expansive and mighty and powerful. We can't really begin to even fathom the size of the universe he created. But it's not just his might, right? His bigness, as it were, his raw power that makes his glory so one of a kind, so incomparable to anything, anywhere, ever. The next part of David's overwhelming praise moves his attention from the might, which we can't wrap our minds around, to the vulnerable that we do wrap our arms around. He says, from the mouths of nursing infants and toddlers, you have established power or might to deal with your enemies. The mighty one shows the, what real power is in vulnerability and in weakness, in babies who can't fight for themselves. David goes on and says, when I see your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, I'm just blown away that you remember humanity and our weakness. Right? The glory of God is all encompassing. How majestic the mightiest one is the most tender one is the most loving one. The, the most powerful one is the most compassionate one. The, the perfect one is the most gracious and forgiving one. His power is revealed in the vastness of the universe. His power is revealed in the beauty of frail babies. Worship the Lord today. Worship the Lord our God. O oh Lord our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Hallelujah.